Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is Dee, and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, some kind of cold or something. But that's not going to stop me from bringing you the latest in virtual reality content. Today we have a short demo by the name of Epilogie in Crisis. Epilogie is a Greek word that uh, means choice, and we're going to be making choices in the context of a crisis in this game, which is where it gets its name. Um, this game was produced by a team at the um, at the Athens School of Fine Arts in Athens, Greece. I believe in collaboration with Paris 8 University. They produced this for the international conference Digital Storytelling in Times of Crisis, which was held back uh, in early May in, in Athens. And, um, and they describe it as a game as well as a art experience and also a scientific instrument. Uh, for multi interdisciplinary research that produces measurable results. I don't really know what this means. I know that there is a survey associated with the game that you could take on, uh, that's linked on Oculus Share. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into this game and see what it's all about. All right, here we are at the opening screen, a hybrid work lying between a game and artwork and a scientific instrument. Welcome to Epilogy in Crisis. We are in some kind of room. Stuff on the walls. Looks kind of like we're in some kind of, like there's tarps over the walls or something. Oh, time to read the instructions. The game's gonna tell us how to control this. This game is controlled entirely using your headset. You don't use a keyboard, mouse, controller, anything like that. To move right, look right. This is one of those games where your direction of motion follows which way you are looking at all times. To move left, look left. And to stop, look up. To start again, look down. And off we go. To move forward, look forward. Let's start. Yeah, I'm going through the W. I'm all right. Enter the crisis. The crisis begins and our choices will begin. Whoa. Whoa. So this part of the game, I believe, has the lowest uh, frame rate of any part of the game. And it has this really bizarre abstract appearance to it where everything's made out of these wireframe polygons. What is your view on what? My view on what? Are you going to clarify that question? Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Okay. My view of others. My view of yourself. My view with closed eyes. Well, I'm not going to be able to see much if my eyes are closed. I'm going to go with my view of myself. Let's go. So I just look the way I want to go. If I want to go this way, I look over here to the right, and I'm on my way. Yourself. All right. I like how there's this weird animations on the ceiling. It's almost like water. So Whoa! Whoa, I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh no. I think I'm trapped in some kind of glass cage here so I can't get out. What do you hear? Hear? What? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Okay, this is creepy. Somebody in my right ear going listen to your heart and somebody in my left ear just saying listen. I don't know. Well, obviously I'm not going forward because there's nobody whispering to me that way. I, I like the person on the right, so we're going to go over to the right, I think. Oh, he's saying, listen to your mind over on the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side here is listen to your heart. You're not going to get me listen to my mind, guy. I'm going this way. 
Okay. Looks like we're following a new path now. I'm not sure what these choices affect exactly. I mean, I think they affect which thing you see next. Okay, we seem to be converging paths here. Access denied. Can't go back that way. What do you do? What do I do? I have a YouTube channel. Whoa! Okay, this place suddenly got... really organic. Do I destroy or do I create? Destroy... create. Um... Hmm... Well, I'm making a video right now, and that counts as creating something. So I'm gonna go with create. Let's go. Create. Whoa, it's all sparkly, and I think the sparkles are different in each eye. This is weird. Create to destroy. Um, do I create to destroy? Is that a thing I do? I mean, I might disrupt things with my creations that might result in destruction, or do I just want to go that way? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go this way. This way. This way. Create to destroy sounds ominous. Look at this crazy wireframe shit, and the glowing pulsating lights, and the sparkly bits. This is just so... This art style is not like anything I've ever seen. Alright. Where are we going now? We're going up to that thing. Are we making progress here? It's like we're in some kind of interconnected network of nodes. And each node is a decision. And it affects the outcome of the crisis? What do you create? I just told you. I make YouTube videos. Or are you asking for something a bit more abstract than that? Whoa! Whoa! Original or copies? Original or copies? Oh man. Um... Um... I don't know. I, I do things that are based on other works, but they also have elements of originality. This is a tar hard question. I'm going with original. Okay. This room, it's like, it's like I'm inside a beehive or something. Experience, self-awareness. Okay, let's go. The sound stopped. Why is everything quiet? Don't stop. Whoa! Oh god, that's... What the fuck? It's using my... It's using my webcam! I didn't know this game was going to use my webcam. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. So those are the students, the project coordinator, the instructors who are helping out. And this is part of the Euromaster Art VR program. These are the credits. Okay, I feel like this is not a game that I can do just one time. There have to be multiple paths through it. So I want to try the other paths. Um, how do I restart the game? Oh, I just brought up statistics there. Okay, I'm going to restart the game. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back, and it's time to enter the crisis once again. Let's go. Fade out. And here we are. Back in the crisis. Let's go. What is your view? This time I'm going to choose my view with closed eyes. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Closed eyes. 
I assume my view of closed eyes would be darkness. I don't know if it's going to put me into some kind of dark and dark environment now. I don't know. This wall looks like it's made out of marble or something. Whoa, I can see the other tunnel over there. Okay, let's go. Straight ahead. Never stop. What is that thing up there? I'm not a huge fan of headset based controls because you tend to accidentally activate them when you're looking around. How do you feel? How do I feel? I'm just going to give the most ridiculous response I can think of here. Ah, this thing is going right into my face. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's these there's these stereoscopic things going right into my face. Okay, I'm going to go with alone. Because I want to see where that's going to take me. Ah, that scene was really weird. Okay, where do we go now? Oh, looks like we're descending. You can never go backwards along the edges that... Those are the other ways to get to the here. What do you say? What do I say? Ah! Ah! There's weird sounds all around me, and and these this lights going along this tunnel. And what is is this graffiti? What even is this? It's like it's like a backwards alphabet. Random characters. Is that is that the heart? I don't. Oh my God! This place. Speak. It's telling truth. Truth, scream, lies. I'm going with lies. Lies are good. Whoa! 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 Experience your crisis! Uh, what the hell is going- Ah! What the hell? What the hell? I'm falling. I just fell out of the level. What the fuck is going on? I'm going into some kind of whirly thing. What the fuck is this? What the fuck even is this? There's like cubes, lights, and, and it's all spinning around. To be continued. What was that? This is really, really weird. Okay, I'm, I've, I've had enough of this game. I'm going to come out of here and talk about this for a minute. So that was Epilogie in Crisis, and it was certainly interesting. It was, um, I mean, it seems to be a game that's pretty much just about leading you on a rail through these, through these questions where you have to make choices, but at each point, you can decide a different direction to go, and that determines what other questions you get in the future. So it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure, but it's all based on these abstract questions that they ask you, and and it puts you through these weird environments for each question that seem to have some relation to what the question is about. And as, as an art piece, I think it's really interesting and engaging. And it, it definitely has bits that make you say, I have no idea what's going on here, and questions that make you go, huh, wait, what is this about? And it's, it's, it works well as an art piece. I'm, I'm not sure if I would call it a game exactly. Like, there's no obvious goal in mind. You don't really know what's going to happen or what you're supposed to be doing. But that's not a problem for me. Um, I don't know why they call it a scientific instrument, but now that I played it a couple times, I'm going to go check out their survey on Oculus Share after I'm done with this video. Um, so that's, that's all for this demo. Let me know what you think about this, and if you try this demo yourself, let me know if you find any interesting areas that I did not get when I did these two run-throughs. That's all for today. I will be continuing Among the Sleep, the survival horror game, and, um, and Legend of Zelda Wind Waker next couple days. That's all for today, and everybody have a great every day.